Showing inside the interior of our 1963 Chevrolet Corvair convertible. We first start off with our steering wheel as well as our horn. Working as it should. We have our light switch where if I pull out it will come on and also showing that the little red light that indicates that the high beams are on and turns off. If I turn the key on the temperature and generator light will come on. Gas gauge and the wiper controls which are working as they should. Our odometer showing 89,689 miles. We have our lighter and our fan is right below this. If I turn it on, you can hear it blowing and as well as the vent controls underneath the dash. Our radio. Wait for the tube to warm up. There she goes. Works great. Glove compartment. Some extra manuals in there. There we go. And on the floor we have our four-speed manual transmission. And there we have it. Taking a look underneath the hood of our 1963 Chevrolet Corvair Monza convertible. What we have here is an air-cooled six-cylinder motor producing 95 horsepower. We have our generator located on the top. Right next to that we have our fuel pump and oil filter. Our air cleaner mounted to the top of the motor. And right next to that, running into our carburetors, one over here and one below the spare tire. We have our 12 volt battery. And if we start the car, goes into a smooth idle. You can see our belt spinning away. Distributor cap. We can go to the front of the car to see our headlights. Our high beams are on, our low beams now. Our driver's side blinker and our passenger side blinker. Our horn and our windshield wipers in operation. We have our brake lights in operation, our driver's side blinker and our passenger side blinker. We can show it the car going for around the corner. Radio coming in. And there we have it. 